its night in the Crow Wildlife Reserve in Malaysia, and conservationists trekked deep into the rainforest to check bat traps that were set up earlier during the day. Working conditions aren't easy. Heat is stifling and oppressive. Insects fill the air and night predators are out hunting. But this is the best time to catch and collect some of the diverse range of bats that inhabit the area. This is called a harp trap. set up across the natural paths in the forest that bats fly along where they hunt or forage for food. <laughs> Bats fly into the thin wires, strung like harp strings over a metal frame, and then fall into the collection bag below. Once caught, they are put carefully into bat bags and carried back to the research station after all other traps have been checked. They may seem strange and fierce, and it's easy to see why some people are afraid of bats. but it just comes from not understanding them. One of the reasons bat research is important is because compared to other animals, so little is scientifically known about these amazing creatures. While studying and processing captured bats, you start to realise what a huge variety of different species there are, each with their own individual behaviour, characteristics and unusual faces. Different species eat different food. Fruit bats like the Sarnoptrus use vision and smell to find ripe fruit and flowers. Insect-eating microbats are the most common, like this tiny Caravola intermedia. They detect their food and help find their way in the dark by producing a sound, then listening for the returning echo, a technique called echolocation. Insect eaters range from bats as small as the intermedia to the much larger Hippocidurus diadema. It's medium sized relative to bicolour, the bad tempered Savinus. and the hollow-faced Nycterus. Some insect eaters, like bats in the Rhinolophus family, have complex nose leaves to help them echolocate. But plain-nosed insect eaters echolocate too, like this bizarre-looking Tiderida mops. There are many little-known facts and unfair myths about bats. Bats aren't blind. Besides fruit bats who have very good eyesight, insect eaters have eyes and can see as well as echolocate. They're not dirty animals. Bats spend a lot of time grooming.
like any captured animal, they might open their mouths and behave aggressively because they are unhappy being handled. But bats pose no threat to humans if they are left alone. An insect eater this big is often heavy with the sheer amount of insects it's eaten in the night. A bat like the diadema could eat up to 600 mosquito sized insects in one hour, making insect eating bats particularly important for disease and pest control. Fruit bats are vital for the pollination of economically important plants like the durian and petai. 31 Malaysian plant species rely on bat pollination. The durian trade alone is worth $120 million a year. Fruit bats also help in dispersing seeds for forest regeneration. The following morning the bats are taken back and released at the exact places they were trapped, so they can easily find their way back to their old roosts in the tree hollows, caves or just under branches in the surrounding forest. Humans are the biggest threat to bats. We have to help bats by not disturbing their roosts, by using alternatives to the pesticides that poison them and reduce their food supply, by not hunting them and not using traditional bat medicines. You can also spread the word about bats. They won't harm you and they can be a benefit to humans. <laughs>